Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I hope everyone is safe and healthy. Many of you have been asking us what riding gear are we using in the reviews as well as for our rides. Well, Rev Explorers is powered by Scala gears. So we have been using everything provided by Scala gears. So we have the jacket from Scala, we have our gloves from Scala and the pants are also from Scala. Earlier I was using Scala Marvel jacket but from the last 6 months I have been using the Thunder version 2. With that the pants are street riding pants and the gloves are trekker gloves. So this is my complete gear that I have been using for my short rides, long rides as well as the reviews that you see. And this video is going to be a long term review of these three. The jacket, the pant and the gloves. I have done multiple trips in these gears including the spitty trip that we did last year. So they have been doing a wonderful job and now let's begin with the jacket first and see what are the USPs of the jacket, what is good and why you should buy it. Thunder V2 is the second iteration of the Thunder jacket launched few years back. Raj is currently using it and it still works well, but this one is even better. Scala has done some major improvements in terms of impact protectors, liners and the design. So as standard, this jacket also comes with a warmer and rain liner and both of them are now dual layered to protect you from water and cold. The protectors are now Sastec CE level 2 certified on shoulder and elbow which are designed in Germany. There is a Safetec CE level 2 certified for the back designed in Italy and in the front are Safetec CE level 1 protectors designed in Italy. The material used for the jacket is 600 DN which is the same as before because it is safe, durable and provides decent ventilation. On a hot day with sun over your head, you will feel the heat and that is bound to happen in any jacket. But while riding, you can feel the air getting in. There are panels of cordure fabric added near the elbow for better safety. To add even more protection, titanium knuckle guards are placed over the shoulders. And to make sure that the visibility is not compromised at night, 3M reflectors are being used on the jacket and the rain liner. And as the rain liner is external, it is in black and fluorescent green color for enhanced visibility. There are more than enough pockets on this jacket. Two waist pockets, two pockets in the thermal liner and the inner pocket near chest is also water resistant. Pants are a new addition to our portfolio as well as Kala's. They are solid and comfortable. In the start, it could be a challenge to get them on but once you are used to it, they are amazing. Just like the jacket, the pants also get dual layer inner thermal liner and external rain liner making it easy to wear and remove in rainy conditions. These street pants get 4 impact protectors. On the knee are Sastec CE level 2 certified protectors designed in Germany and protecting your hip bone are Safetec CE level 1 protectors designed in Italy. It also gets removable sliders for more protection and if you love to bring down your knee. They are not exactly metal to light some sparkles but you can always replace them. Just like the jacket, this is also made of 600 DN material which is durable and breathable. Cordura fabric is added near the knee for flexibility and extra protection. Just like any other regular pants, this one also has two zipper pockets and has a non-slip material on your bum so you don't slip. Overall, they are a good combo, giving you good support on your long rides. The rain liner won't let the water seep in and the thermal one keeps you hot. If it is very cold outside, like we faced in Chandratal, you can wear the rain liner on the top. That helps in insulation from cold. I have never crashed in these gears to test them out and I hope no one ever does. But I can tell you this, they provide confidence while riding. The slight quality issue is with the metals used in the adjustment straps, which gets rusted over the time and the zipper heads may also break under rough usage. Talking about rough, while we were riding from Chandradal to Manali, it was raining heavily and that 10 hours of our ride was the most challenging part. We were completely drenched by the time we reached Manali, but I got to test this gear to the max because 
it strongly stood against the bad weather for almost half a day which is more than i expected these trekker gloves were amazing they are made of kangaroo leather and they held water out for a very long time and you can't ignore the fact that it is perforated leather also they keep you insulated in mild cold for harsh one you need to add a woolen glove inside the main one which of course doesn't come with these in terms of impact protection these get sastec ce level 2 carbon protectors on the knuckles and nox patented sport sps which stands for scaphoid protection system and it includes two specially developed sliders attached to the palm that enables the gloves to reduce hyperextension of the wrist and these protectors are made in uk there are hd foam inserts at finger joints and the pinky is stitched to the ring finger to reduce the chances of injury for better grip the palms have micro dots of silicon and the adjustment velcro tab on the cuff and forearm helps in better fit just like scala's other gloves you have finger wiper and touch sensitive index finger now these gloves are slightly on expensive side and best suited for long rides for daily users you could try out the air series so this was my review and my experience with the scala gears well if you are a beginner then these are slightly expensive so you can always start with the scala marvel jacket which is very good and it is good for city usage as well as short rides so if you are at the beginning of your riding career you can always have them and you can also have the air gloves that are also really useful in your city commute as well as in your short rides as far as the pants go there is only one variant available with the scala gears so the choice is yours if you want it you can have it and the gear that i use is pretty decent if you are going for long rides as well as you know your short rides or daily commutes i know everyone is not using pants in their daily commute but yeah jacket and gloves is something that you should because it will protect you soon scala is going to come up with a touring jacket and we will be ready with the review so stay tuned to rev explorers i hope this video was helpful for you do give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends if you are new to our channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you are never missing out great content from rev explorers we are also available on instagram facebook and twitter so go ahead and check out our pages the handle will be right over here and you can chat with us over there as well we'll see you again in the next video till that time stay safe and ride safe bye bye